How's it going, guys? I got a special treat for you today. It's the first episode of many of epic things I use on a mostly daily basis, pretty much. I'm going to try to go into depth as much as I can and uh, try to impress you with them. Now, if you're watching this a few years from now, it's kind of cringe. I got a lot of stuff out there, probably. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to go ahead and do it through a screen recording. But first, let me introduce exactly what I'm going to be talking about. It's called Shadow PC. Shadow PC is basically a streaming service where you get to stream your own PC rig for 15 bucks a month. Now, I'm not sponsored by them, so I won't say much. But the Minecraft YouTuber Dream is, and I'm going to go ahead and link to his video down below. It is very epic, to say the least. But guys, let's just hop right into it, all right? I'm going to get on the screen recording and show you that you can do this on your phone and nothing else, and it's fully functional. I'm also going to do it on data and on sprint. That's why, gamers, let's get into it. Okay, gamers, I finally figured out how to turn off notifications. This is, uh, it's been quite a few times trying to record. But you know what, let's just jump right into this explanation. So, basically I'm going to be demonstrating this solely on my phone, solely on data, and solely on the Sprint network. I know. Right now I'm booting up my little Bluetooth keyboard device. There we go, it's showing up right there. Now, if you want some, at first it's not really going to work, the mouse portion at least. And to get this sort of cursor to work, what you just need to do is activate assisted touch, and you should get that little icon going. And if you want to hide that icon when you don't have something connected, go ahead and to turn off the setting in which it says always show the icon. And it'll only show up when there's a pointer device connected and active. Pretty epic. So this is the Shadow Boot menu. Now to download the Shadow app for iOS, what you need to do first is get iOS Apple's app, developer app, it's, um, I'll throw the name up on the screen, it slipped my mind, but you need to download that, and then because Shadow is beta, and then through that you download the Shadow app, and it runs pretty well so far, it obviously has a lot of room for improvement, okay, for a moment, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna blur that out, I literally turned off notifications inside my settings to never, literally never show previews, but that's okay, sorry, sorry, I don't but anyway guys, gamers, I apologize. Here's your settings in the mobile device. You have display resolution if your streaming capabilities isn't that high. Um, allocate a certain amount of bandwidth in case you don't want to take away from your wife's Netflix. Uh, you can reverse the mouse buttons, which is important later. They need to work on that so that they can uh, take the input of reverse mouse buttons and Bluetooth keyboards like this. But um, yeah, it's just in beta, but check this out. For real, let's just go ahead and get jump right into it. There's a little bit of evidence that I'm just using cellular data, and here's some more that I am using. Uh, more to blur out. I love it. All right, Sprint. Very, very epic. And while this boots up, I'll just go ahead and serenade you with some non-royalty music. Enjoy, gamers. <laughs> to it this is a legit pc and as you can see the latency um is present somewhat if, if you really know what you're doing you'll definitely definitely notice but like it's fully functional look at this i can launch minecraft pc just to give you an example and speaking of minecraft the person who told me about this uh was a minecraft youtuber dream i'm gonna link his video about uh, Shadow PC in the description. Definitely, definitely, definitely check it out if you have not already. He knows what he's talking about, and trust me, the both of us have done our research on this, and I can say it is highly recommended. But let's just straight up load Minecraft. Oh, another thing is, uh, you get gigabit internet with this service. Seriously. Now, sometimes it's not quite as fast. You only get like 600 uh, megabits per second or something like that, but most of the time, it's close to like 980 megabits a second um, upload, and then about 200 megabits. I mean, no, not for that. I wish. Then I can get you guys more videos, but I don't know if you hear that. It's legit. But yeah, guys, um, I'm just going to start a world for you guys straight up on my phone on Sprint Data. But yeah, uh, what was I talking about? Not epic. 
But yeah, oh yeah, the upload speeds uh, are pretty epic. Now, obviously this isn't working very well because I don't have anything, any sort of proper gear. This is a very nonchalant setup. But yeah, um, upload speeds are around 200 megabits a second. Download speeds are bloody 900 or so megabits a second for the most part. And closing window speeds are a little bit slower. Now again, I'm just gonna switch to manual, use my finger. But yeah, um, you can seriously, oh yeah, duh. But yeah, you guys, it works out wonderfully, and I think this is very revolutionary. Uh, something Dream said that really resonated with me is that this makes a huge difference for smaller YouTubers or people with not a huge budget because it actually gives you a working, amazing rig. And you don't even need an amazing rig necessarily. Sometimes you just need something that works well for work that you need like to access remotely or say even from like a, a Chromebook or something along those lines. Typically I use this on my laptop and if you full screen mode it, it's straight up just like you're using a better PC. So I just wanted to show you guys on mobile for the, I don't know, shock value of it. Speaking of shock value, got an epic video coming up soon. Um, it's uh, in, in a way uh, an apology for missing that upload yesterday. But this is Shadow PC, and I think it'll change your life. Thank you for watching episode one of Epic Things I Use. Hopefully there's so much more to come, and I'll probably do another video on this more in depth once I get a hashtag epic sponsorship from Shadow PC themselves. Thank you kindly for sitting through this. I don't have any sort of referral links for, sh links for Shadow or codes, but use code DREAM if you just straight up go to Shadow after this video. But I do recommend you check out DREAM's video. He talks a lot more in depth about it, and it's absolutely worth it. And before you guys, gamers go, I just wanna let you know the quick specs on this, and the quick specs. And I will throw up during, oh geez, I will throw up, haha, <laughs> get it? It's a reference. I will throw up, uh, whatever graphics card this is using on the screen for you guys. Um, because I cannot remember that off the top of my head. All right. Yeah, it's not easy with this keyword specifically. Okay, look at that. Oh, wait, you need to see the specs for real. Come on, specky, 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 specky. All right, here's the specs. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the graphics card it's using. Now, I did this completely on mobile. What you can do, and what I kind of recommend doing, is hooking up a Bluetooth um, keyboard and mouse, or just doing a getting a dongle, which is lightning to USB, and then connecting a uh, USB mouse or keyboard combo. Uh, Logitech has good stuff. Again, not sponsored by any of these guys. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. And if you guys want to watch any more videos like this, go ahead, uh, smash like. I have a lot of cool tech and gear and stuff like that that really enables me to do a bunch of stuff. And I'd really love to help you guys out in that regard. So if you want to see more epic stuff, I got a lot more secrets up my sleeve. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Love you. Specifically you.